Hi Libra, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your Astora reading, Astara reading, um, which is the Spring Equinox. And I'm doing a different spread, um, Libra. I'm doing three above, three below. That's three above ground, three below ground. And we're going to start off with what it is that you need to let rot, what you need to release. And then your second card, we're going to ask um, for what... You need to nurture. And this is your growth card. growth card for Libra please what do they need to nurture okay there's two there and then we're going to ask the cards for your lesson and what you need to look out for Libra And then below, we are going to be asked for the seeds that you sow, your immediate future. Oh, wow. And then, my lovelies, we're going to be asking for the bulbs that you plant for a longer term future. Okay, Libra. Thank you. I didn't do this with the others, did I? I had it up this way. I don't know why I'm doing that for Libra. And then, my lovelies, what the spring brings and what you're going to carry through to the summer. What's Libra going to carry through to the summer from the spring? Okay, my darlings. So, what you need to rot, what you need to release, is you've got the Seven of Pentacles. So I kind of get the feeling you may have been spoilt for choice and you're going to have... You, you're, you are getting to the point where you're going to have to release some of them. Um, it's not that they're not going to happen right now. They're burdening you and it's it's too much. It, you, you're working extremely hard, but I'm kind of getting the feeling that th there are probably a couple of choices too many there for you to be able to um, make a good solid choice. And there may not be enough information is what I'm getting about some of these um, choices that you've got. It's a very spiritual card. Um, but yeah, I'm getting that you need to let some of this rot, you need to let some of it um, kind of go, even if it's just for now. So lovelies, your next card, what you need to nurture um, and your growth is you have got Libra, you've got the High Priestess. Now, this is a magical card, she knows her stuff magically, she draws the energy down from the moon into her cauldron, she stands on the parapet of unlike the high priest who's very traditional I kind of get with her that she is unconventional she doesn't stick with tradition she will try new things she will try to get to the top of her game um, by being unusual and different and then right behind her and do you know it's not funny because normally I think of this card as purposely spilling out cups or an accidental spillage but with this, when I saw this, I kind of got a bit of sadness with it behind it. 
So I'm kind of getting that there's a reluctance to spill this cup out. Um, but I get the feeling to stay true to you, stay protected, stay within your magic, within your power, that you need to reluctantly spill that cup out and you need to let that go as well as this choice. And I'm kind of getting that that may well be linked. It may well be linked, but keep in mind, lovelies, that there's three beautiful chalices in the upright in the basket which means not all is lost but i do get the feeling that the one that you are pouring out is being poured out with some sadness and it's it's a saying goodbye to someone it isn't something as the choices are something this is someone that you're saying goodbye to um and i'm kind of getting that um, the timing for them was winter and you could be saying goodbye to a loved one um, because they are passing. Um, it's, that's not going to be for everybody, but I am kind of getting, um, it's such sadness, I'm kind of getting that this is grief, this, this isn't, but stand in your powers, darlings, you know, you know that a passing doesn't mean the end, a passing it's just moving on to something new, something different. You know that in your hearts. Um, but yeah, it's such a sad feeling. I just want to cry actually at the moment because um, I've not long been through that experience twice. And uh, it's, it's very difficult. It's very, very difficult. So if that is you, lovely heartfelt condolences and um, much love and healing out to you. So the next card that comes along is lessons and what we need to look out for. And what we need to look out for on the lessons here, stop being, this is usually about a project. This is the nine of wands. This is about a project that you're being protective over. And I'm kind of getting that the lesson you need to be is be protective, but don't be overpowering. Don't be secretive. Um, it's okay keeping something under wraps because that's important, but it's not okay to keep secrets, especially um, to your nearest and dearest. You know, um, thoughts and feelings and this burning desire to do something with those rods. Um, sometimes opening up will open doors for you, darling, is what I'm getting. So your lesson there may well be that you need to be selective about how protective you are over that rod, over those rods, over that project, over that um, piece of work that you're doing. So sowing your seeds for your immediate future, lovelies, you've got the five of pentacles. What on earth? What on earth? You feel a bit frozen out, my lovelies. You've got everything going for you. You've got the five of pentacles above you. You've got that fire at the back and you're sitting there feeling bloody sorry for yourself. I'm not getting that you've been frozen out. I'm getting that you've frozen yourself out. And it's probably with good reason, but you still have many blessings other than that reason is what I'm getting. Oh, it's another winter card, isn't it? It's another five. It could be that you're having such a hard time with grieving that you've distanced yourself um, because you just feel that you're putting this onto other people and you're not lovelies. Don't do that by yourself. Don't sit on that bench by yourself it's not an easy place to be it really isn't share your th and share your thoughts and feelings with other people so that's your immediate future sweethearts is just try really libra you need to bring your scales back into balance darlings odd numbers don't do us any good at all we do need the even numbers um I'm a fellow Libra, I will tell you that. So I'm relating to this very heavily at the moment. Um, I'm not going to tell you why, but I had some news today as well that's kind of 
not knocked me sideways, but um, has brought a bit of sadness. And I think you need to, to look at bringing yourself together with others in order to get through this in order to realise that there is a way forward, there is a way to make your pentacles and to get yourself out of this feeling. It's, I'm not getting that you're destitute. I'm getting that you're feeling... I'm getting that you're feeling that you've run out of emotion, that you've run out of tears, that there is, and there's nothing else. There's nothing else for you to grieve over there's it there's nothing there it's empty it's void is what i'm getting so lovely your longer term future the bulbs that you plant is you're going on a bit of adventure this is the two of rods this is a heart's desire this is you leaving your comfort zone to venture out and look for something that you love to do this is what makes your soul sing, Libra. Whatever this is, somebody's waving you off. They're so proud of you. And they just want you to succeed at, at this quest that you're going after. Um, I think that's a beautiful card to come round out of this bit. Um, and to finish up. So, lovelies, what you're coming into, the spring. What the spring brings... And what it allows you to take through into the summer is you have the Page of Wands. And this page is a younger person that they're bringing in and they're going to highlight like for you what is blocking you and how you can clear that blocking with that beautiful wand. And what they're telling you is it's your passion, it's your desire, it's your art, it's your craft that's going to help you clear that blockage away. And it's something I get that you've been working on for quite some time. So whatever's blocking, the blockage is going to come to an end. And darling's right at the bottom of the deck. Look at this. You couldn't make this up, could you? You've got happy families. You've got a completion of your family. You've got generations together and you've also the 10 always goes into a new beginning so it may be that there's a new generation on the way it may be that the generations are just getting on so well that the bills are being paid everything's hunky-dory and you're just really enjoying each other's companies but make that into a new beginning and it may be that one generation is going to move away from another generation and introduce yet another generation so what goes around comes around, lovelies. Your pentacles are going to sort themselves out from your choices to your ten. How you're feeling at the moment is not going to last forever. You do feel that this is blocking you somewhat. But once you've started this quest, once you've started to do what it is that you want to do and get rid of that block, things are going to work out okay for you, Libra. So, my lovelies, let's ask the angels and the ancestors for some knowledge and wisdom and some energy for this time. Put those to one side, pick these ones up first. We have the fox spirit and it says, trust your challenge in your talents in changing times. That's the fox. You have the hermit. And it says, retreat and recharge. And then you have the traveller. And it says, move in a new direction. And then we have the drum. And that says, dream and journey. That's your card, Libra. It really is. Stargazer. Set your sights higher. And then the last one you've got is the medicine mother. And it says, honour your inner knowing. So there you have it, Libra. That's your star reading for 2020. Have a fabulous weekend, the 21st and 22nd. Um, 
go and celebrate, go and do whatever it takes to make yourself feel better and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now, lovelies.